Oh, that's better. Guys, <laughs> that's where I'm heading. This is a completely different kettle of fish, or sorry, a different mountain to a Camelback Mountain, which I just climbed an hour or two ago. Firstly, you can see there's almost nobody here. There are no proper paths. You've got to go across desert to get here. And there are some guys who've been scrambling up there. Let's see if I can get the low down best ways up. I have to tell you, it is a little bit daunting. No one around really, so um, if I make a mistake, that's it. <laughs> Don't know who will find me. So I've got to go careful. Oh, nice little rest in here, but I'm not stopping long. There's a guy coming up on his bike. Just look at this. I don't know, can you hear the echo in here? It's only a small cave. There's a nice little echo. I'm not pointing in the right place. Let's soak in that in a bit. There we go, look at this. And that's not an electric bike, as you can see. Go on, get into it. Get those legs going. Look, he's doing it. He's getting up there. That's the beauty of the gears on a mountain bike for you. Look at that. Keep on going. These rocks are a sandstone composite, packed full of rocks and minerals of all sorts. The red colour would make you believe there's a lot of iron in it, but of course it's also been scorched <laughs> over millions of years. It seems to be alright, you've just got to keep leaning forward into the mountain and look at the views we're already getting. Isn't that nice? But we've got to keep on going up. That's uh, I'm not entirely sure. Got to be careful here because let's have a look. Oh, that's better. Right there, look. Ah, that's better. A little bit of a dicey bit, but then we got onto a more of a main drag. Looks like we can do it, but not too bad at all. Let's have a look if we go that way or this way. There's another little saddle. Yeah, let's go to the top of this saddle. Oh, look. What a gorge going down there. A gorge, a gorgeous gorge. So, up this way. Again, I've got to be careful. I should really just put the phone away for the moment in case I drop it or I drop me. And as always, going up is sort of difficult. But the most dangerous part is coming down. That's when most people get hurt, coming down off a mountain, because it's much steeper than you think, and it's harder. But look at that. I'm almost at the summit of this little hill. That didn't take too long. And wasn't anywhere near as bad as it looked. So long you're careful. Look at that. And there I was, what a crybaby. I was really worried about <laughs> coming up here, but here I am. And of these three little ones here, this is the highest and the hardest. So will that give me the inspiration, the courage to go for one of those, which is much, much harder and higher. Yeah, I'd better get a selfie or something of myself. The trouble is, when you're on top of a mountain and you're on your own, there's no one to take a photo for you. <laughs> what I want is someone on that hill, or that one down there, because it'll look higher, me on top of here, looking out I victorious. <laughs> but only halfway. <laughs> Do not celebrate too soon. You've got to get down. And let's have a look, going down. Down, 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 down there. And that my friends. Again, like I thought when I was coming up, is a little bit daunting. I had to put my camera away and use both hands for climbing down. It's 
so that's that one over and done with and those of you who will know me <laughs> know that i had my grave voice on oh let's see what it's like it looks a bit challenging let's give it but inside <laughs> i was thinking I'm really gonna have to take this step by step <laughs> and make a judgment at each call <laughs> whether I carry on or not and it was very steep in parts um, and but it was not as bad as I was expecting in fact it was much better and easier than I was expecting um, but you do have to be okay with heights and sheer drops if you're okay with that not a problem but now oh my god <laughs> That's where I'm heading now. And there is somebody on the second from top one. Can you see that there? So it can be done. I really didn't know which way to go. So I thought, well, let's go to the right and check it out first. I can always come back if it doesn't work out. And just around the corner, I found a huge gully with a man sitting at the top of it. His name is Mark. Now he's 76 years old. And it was really good that I met him because he showed me the way to go, which is climbing the rock that he's leaning on. And the first bit was quite tricky and even difficult, <laughs> uh, but it got easier as we got round the corner and, and there became more places to grip both with your, your feet and your hands. I had to put the camera away because I had to use both hands to climb. Now, you can see this is an easier section, but it's a sheer drop. You don't want to fall down there. It turns out climbing the big mountain was even more difficult and so I decided I'd have to stop at this point. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm here at the top. I don't know what this mountain is even called. <laughs> How ignorant is that? Sorry, mountain. I will find out and I'll be able to refer to you properly. <laughs> but I'm just about the same height as that plane coming into land. Can you see it? Yeah, where is it? It's gone. There we are. I'm the same height as that plane. Right, it's coming into land, so it's not so high, but um, soon I'll be looking down on it. There's another one over there because we have got, cue the lights, sunset is about to start over here. And I thought I might just stay up here for a bit longer and let the sun set and see how it goes because pretty bloody nice up here, I tell you. <laughs> now, I made a little video of a chap I met halfway down, but it didn't come out. I pressed record off instead of record. And uh, his name was Mark, he's 76 years old, and I found him in the gully at the bottom, at the very top of the gully. Uh, and he was sort of meditating. He said he, he sometimes meditates, but he was just sitting there cross-legged right at the top of his gully between these two hills. And, um, and we got chatting and I asked him the best way up. And I have to say, had I not have met him, I wouldn't be sitting here now. <laughs> because there was about 20 or 30 feet that definitely looked dodgy. Ah! Dodgy or what? And we're talking sheer, not sheer, but almost sheer, uh, with some very shiny surfaces on got plenty of places to put your hands and get your grips and put your toes on. So there he was and now he's gone, he's gone back down, he's gone over that way and I'm left here all by myself on this mountain top <laughs> for sunset in Phoenix, Arizona. So uh, that's pretty good. Oh, I, I should show you also, there's Camelback Mountain. That is what we've just climbed this morning. It looks quite substantial. Well, it looks bigger in the uh, by in real life than in the picture. The picture seems to squash it down. Sunset, second best time of the day. Thank you. 